Hey students, we're going to go ahead and continue with our neuro lecture. And the next disease we're going to talk about neurological problems is multiple sclerosis. Okay, see what we can figure out here. Uh, so the problem is multiple sclerosis, and you've heard it called MS before. And the location of this problem in the nervous system is the myelin sheath. Uh, around the axon of the neuron and central nervous system. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to tell you the problem is here with this myelin sheath right down here at the bottom. And it's in the central nervous system. And you might say, well, okay, but remember, if you've got a problem in the central nervous system, then you're going to have a problem in the peripheral nervous system too. So because if you got if you got issues here then you're not going to be able to communicate anywhere else really very well. So MS is a chronic progressive degenerative disease. That means you're going to have it and you're going to battle it the rest of your life. It's going to get worse because it gets it progresses and it's degeneration uh, breakdown. And the immune system attacks the myelin sheath. And because when your own immune system attacks you, that's called an autoimmune disease. And your own immune system is attacking your myelin sheath. And when it's happening, that's called demyelination, taking away your myelin. And what happens is if you can see down here, there's your problem. And see how that fatty myelin sheath is now kind of eaten away. And remember, the myelin sheath helps help speed up transmission of your electrical impulses. So electricity can travel really fast to your body. But if your immune system is attacking that fatty layer there, it's going to get sclerosed or sclerotic. And sclerosis means hardening areas of the myelin sheath in multiple neurons of the central nervous system. And in MS, the myelin sheath is destroyed, eventually leaving sclerotic parts of the axon in multiple areas. Sclerosis means hardening. So there's where multiple sclerosis, the name came from, hardening of the myelin sheath in multiple areas of the body, probably from head to toe. So with damaged myelin sheath, electrical transmission is slowed. Where? All over the body in multiple areas, okay? All right, and here's some FYI for you. Multiple sclerosis, the risk for it, is greatest between 20 and 40 years of age. At least that's when we see it pop up. It's not a childhood problem, and you don't get it when you're really, really old. So kind of in the young adulthood, you'll see symptoms. Women are greater risk than men, but men can get it. It can have periods of remissions and exacerbations where it kind of goes, the symptoms kind of go away and then they flare back up, also called relapsing or remitting. And the first symptom of demyelination may be diplopia, double vision. So yeah, you're going to have some vision symptoms. Um, and then paresthesias, which is numbness and tingling to the extremities. So suddenly you're going to wake up one morning and you're going to have double vision and you'll have numbness and tingling, maybe to one arm, one leg, all of them. But then it can go away in a couple of days and you won't think any more about it. Because <clears throat> I told you it's going to hit and then it's going to flare back up. And then it's going to go away and it's going to hit and it's going to flare back up. So as the disease progresses, Multiple neurons become sclerosed or hardened, resulting in multiple symptoms all over the body. Now, these symptoms may be motor, which means affects your movement, or sensory affects your senses. And problems will occur in multiple areas of the body. This will never get better and will eventually get worse because it's chronic and it's degenerative and it's progressive. And the interdisciplinary care, the other disciplines that are going to be helping this client other than nursing, PT and OT 
because of the movement problem, speech therapy because of swallowing issues and probably uh, speaking, respiratory therapy may be involved in the client's care. Now, don't go over here and get stressed out, but look at all of these problems that could happen motorly and sensorily <laughs> in the central nervous system. And then remember, if there's a problem there, then there, how would you be able to communicate to the other places? So um, you're going to have some issues uh, and it's only going to get worse. Okay. All right. There's no cure for multiple sclerosis, but during when it does flare up, we can give you corticosteroids or glucocorticoids, um, IV, to suppress your immune system because they're immunosuppressants and that will decrease the inflammation that's going on right now. What do you remember about steroids? Well, steroids end in own, like methylprednisolone prednisone and how they work is they decrease your immune system so that means that the immune system will not be attacking your myelin sheath when you're on these big steroids and steroids are huge drugs full of a lot of side effects but many many benefits but it decreases the immune system so the client is at risk to get sick so you've got to make sure they keep sick people away from them um when they're on steroids, you might have to wear glove gown and mask going in the room. Um, since they are glucocorticoids, they increase your blood sugar. So you'll be checking their sugars, maybe giving them some sliding scale insulin. Has a full body effects if taken for a long period of time, including your appearance changes. Moon face, uh, big fat face, uh, big fat uh, buffalo hump on, on your upper back down below your neck and a fat abdomen. If we can get you off the steroids, those symptoms will go away. You can get osteoporosis, thinning of the bones, thinning of the skin, easy bruising and stomach ulcers. And so that's what we'll give you during the flare-ups. But these medicines right here are PO and you take them daily. And I'm not gonna ask you about them. Um, but I'm just going to tell you, they mod modulate or adjust your immune system. And here are some names of them. And you'll be on those daily. But it's still going to get worse, guys. It just, it just never gets better. Um, because you can't communicate to the muscles like you should, then you're going to get muscle spasms. They get very spastic and the muscles will spasm on them. And they would need some PRN muscle relaxers. And remember, muscle relaxers like uh, baclofen. Uh, well, here, here's the names of them right down here. They make you very sleepy. Okay. So let's keep going. Mm. Well. Another thing about multiple sclerosis is heat or an increase in body temperature increases your symptoms in most people. So um, I don't know, heat, vasodilate, um, heat, inflammation. I don't know how it's the best way for you to remember it. But I, so what would your teaching include? Um, don't lay on a heating pad. Don't get in a hot tub. Um, regulate your shower temperature, your bath water temperature to be a certain temperature, not real hot. I don't live in a hot environment. Don't let your house get hot. Uh, most of the time they have to have a fan on them or something like that. Um, but long-term stress can affect your health um, and affect the symptoms too. So heat and stress can make this worse. And it's gonna, it's bad enough without putting heat and stress in the picture. Okay, here's a picture of my best friend. It was Anita. She was dancing. That was my second wedding, and it was um, 1992. 
And I was 32 at the time. She was 33. And back in her 20s, um, she began having diplopia and paresthesia. So she called me and I wasn't a nurse at the time. And she said, Susan, she said, uh, my vision's blurry and uh, I can't feel my right arm and my right leg. And I didn't want a nurse. I didn't know what to tell her. And um, I said, can you move it? And she said, yeah. And a couple of days it went away. Well, we didn't think anything of it because there's that remission. But it then returns several years later, and there's your exacerbation. And every time it returns, guys, the symptoms are worse than they were before. Because I'm telling you, it's progressive. So with every attack of your immune system, the attack gets worse, the myelin sheath gets worse, and the symptoms get worse and increased. So she finally went to the doctor, and she was diagnosed with MS. And they did a CAT scan or an MRI, and they could see that the myelin sheath was destroyed and she was on medicines to suppress her immune system from attacking her myelin sheath. And she took those PO medicines daily, but eventually she got worse and worse, just as we expected until she could not walk. She couldn't dance years later. There she is dancing, having fun. She used to be my dancing buddy. We used to go out dancing all the time. But it got worse and worse. She couldn't walk. She couldn't pick anything up. She couldn't feed herself and couldn't control her bowels and bladder. Her cognitive abilities declined. Um, she could barely talk. And she died in a nursing home at the age of 52, 19 years after this, that picture. 19 years later, look at her. That was a picture of my best friend. She looked like she was 80 years old. Um, those are her three girls and she was unresponsive at that point. That was one day before her death. And that's a picture her girls wanted the last one with their mother. They were sad. They're not happy about this, but that was their mom and they loved her so much and she loved them and, um, uh, she died and I lost my best friend and, um, it was pretty sad, sad. But we had years to prepare for it because she just kept getting worse and worse. Okay. All right. So to wrap it up, multiple sclerosis, where is the problem? Okay. Well, let's see. Problem is in the myelin sheath. So right here, it gets attacked. And that is in the central nervous system. Now, remember because the problem is in there, then you're gonna have problems out here too in the peripheral nervous system because it's you can't communicate. So, and it's gonna go away and it's gonna come back and it's gonna go away and it's gonna come back and it's gonna be progressive and you eventually die of uh, complications of multiple sclerosis. So what cues represent a priority? Well, let's just figure this out. Let, let's think about it for a minute. What would make you think that, well, you know, I'm a little bit concerned about you right now. Well, I would say anything that made me think that you were going to fall. So safety, maybe he's unsteady on his feet. Maybe the vision is so bad he can't see. Uh, and he still drives a car, uh, can't walk around without bumping in the crap. Uh, Muscle spasms so strong that his feet curl up on him uh, and he can't, he's having a hard time walking. Um, I think some dysphagia, because my friend ended up having dysphagia and was, they were thinking about putting a feeding tube in her. So difficulty swallowing, which could lead to aspiration. So uh, dysphagia to an aspiration, that would be uh, worrisome to me. Um anything along that line um sh uh, eventually you're not going to be able to move really and so some skin breakdown an infected a uh, skin ulcer um things along that line would catch my attention so um hopefully that makes sense to you so that is the end of multiple sclerosis <laughs>